Okay, this news is so big for the post PDCGL community that I, uh, well, I guess PDCG community, but I had to just kind of just click record as soon as watching. Pokemon Presents has just happened and they announced something for the Pokemon TCG and it raises concerns a little bit on my part for PDCGL going into the future. And it's called Pokemon TCG Pocket. As you can see here, this is the Pokemon Prevent, 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 Prevention is better than cure. Presents live stream and they showed this off. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, what is it? Just a better version of the card? Decks, kind of, except you can battle. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to show the face cam so you can kind of see everything here. This looks interesting, okay? We need to dissect this a little bit, okay? It's basically PTCGL Mobile, but it looks like it's much better. Look at the HP here, right? You're going to have to close in your zoom in with your eyes a little bit. I could zoom in actually like this. There we go. If I zoom in like this, we'll probably get a bit of a closer view for you. And you can just see, I might do face cam now actually. God, this is so butchered. <laughs> what it looks like. So, if I go to this part here, you can see on the Pikachu, we've got at the top here an actual HP meter, like from the Pokemon games, the uh, HP itself, the damage being dealt, uh, the cards in full, the hand down here. I wonder what this is. That's interesting. There's a circular thing here and one up here too. So now that's just for like, oh, you can't see it up there, but I don't know if that's for any sort of reason. The, even the back of the Pokemon card design is completely different. So what's interesting here is we need to kind of theorize what this basically is. So. This is clearly them hitting, trying to hit into that Duel Links market, all right? So you have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh with Duel Links and you have uh, Master Duel, right? So Duel Links is effectively a, a quick streamlined version of playing Yu-Gi-Oh for your phone. And this looks to be exactly what they're trying to do. Now, the reason why this is kind of a big deal is because it's a brand new way to, po the, to play the Pokemon TCG. And they even clarified in this, um, in their prevents when they're talking about it, some interesting things, right? They clarified that you actually have your own set of rules. So I don't know if they've, uh, again, like how Duel Links play, just kind of redesigned the, the, the system. If we go back to the image, do we see any prizes, actually? That's an interesting thing to take into account. Uh, we do see no prizing, actually. There's no prizing at all. Maybe you have to... Oh, wait, hold on, I see it. Let's zoom in again, baby. If you look at the bottom down here, it says one two and three. My guess is you're going to have to take three knockouts and that is just the rule of the game. Whoever takes the three knockouts wins. So you might be wondering how do you get your packs and stuff? So they do show it here where you just kind of get packs. They say two a day and then you open up the packs and you get your cards. Now what's interesting is there's some cards in here that are just not available to play in the CCG now, um, which is interesting. I saw a Pikachu in there that was... Wait, what is that? Hold on. Let's go back to that Gardevoir quickly. I don't think these are cards are actually releasing in the Pokemon TCG. Once during your turn, you may take one Psychic Energy from your Energy Zone zone and attach it to one psychic poke. So this is a whole new thing. Energy zone. So you don't play energies in the deck? What? What is this? <laughs> what? Um, that's wild. So like, I noticed here, that's a Pikachu we don't have, right? It's the old Pikachu, right? The, the, the red cheek, yellow cheek Pikachu, right? So it's kind of it's very reminiscent as well of that. There's a Charizard EX you can get in there. Oh, what is that rarity at the bottom left? Hold on. You could you can't see it in that great detail. I'll have to zoom in again. But these are some of the more cards here. There's a Mewtwo EX. It's a very basic, right? But there's these like weird diamonds at the bottom of the cards for it's like where its set number would be. Like if you look at the Mewtwo down here, there's these weird diamonds instead of set numbers. So again, specifically designed for this app. This is very interesting. Now, one thing that's very interesting is you can actually have these weird like illustration things. I can only show it to you here where you can zoom in on the bloody artwork. What the hell? <laughs> that's mental. So not only that, this is what the battles look like, by the way. And are you kidding me? This is what we wanted PDCGL to be. It's, it's outrageous. It, it actually annoys me because that's what we wanted, right? We wanted that kind of style, that kind of fluidity, that just seeing this footage alone just annoys me, all right? It really does annoy me because why could this not be happening in PTCGL? Now, an interesting thing to point out is the reason why this is looking so good is because they partnered with, I think it's called DNA, which is the developers for Pokemon Masters EX, which is very artistic. So you could see that they've just chosen the right devs this time and clearly put a lot more budget into this for making it. So it's honestly a bit of a double-edged sword for me, I think. I'm a bit all over the place because not only now do we have a whole new way to play the Pokemon TCG that I'm going to explore myself. Also, by the way, just to note, I think it's exclusively on mobile. I don't think it's something you can play on the desktop. But yeah, it's, and it's a fun way to play. It's a whole new experience. But at the same time, it's like, why couldn't this be put into PDCGL in terms of at least its creative design? Well, I can tell you why. Because they didn't choose DNA. They chose an in-house development team that just aren't capable of doing this. Like, this is a product with clear care and attention and drive. This is the Pokemon company saying, this is our move forward 
for the Pokemon TCG to get a grasp of the casual players. Now, it's a good thing as well, okay? Because it also introduces people to the game and it kind of acts as a stepping stone to the main game. If people play this, they're going to be far more open to playing the actual TCG in its full. I notice I'm also a bit frame ratey. I don't know, my computer's being weird. But what's cool is when you look at the cards as well, like look at this, right? They, they have a weird 3D effect to them, which is really cool. So like if you see here, you can see how it's kind of got this weird 3Dness to it. It's really, really interesting. Um, you can also, yeah, seen here is where you can trade people and stuff, um, which does show in a second right now. There you go. You can trade and all that jazz, which PDCGL doesn't have. Interesting. But that's it's got its own crafting system. So there you go. So ultimately, it's a whole new look at this. It's just come on, man. It's just so much better. So yeah, as I said, a bit of a double edged sword, but it is a good thing for the Pokemon TCG overall because it is that stepping stone. But what's going to be funny is if it's that stepping stone, the people's next choice when they go into the full TCG experience is to play PTCGL. So it's like you're not a player, uh, you maybe start playing IRL and start dabbing a little bit, then you get the, uh, the, the the Pokemon Pocket, Pokemon TCG Pocket, and then you go to PTCGL and you're like, well, that's a downgrade. You've just gone from PTCGL Pocket, which is polished, uh, beautiful, um, has good effects, good animation, um, good art, and then boom, PDCG out. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, man. It's wild. I wanted to make this video quickly, though, because I've got to go somewhere and pick up my son um, from school. But that's interesting news, huh? I'd love to see your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Bye-bye.